Hey guys, welcome to a new day of house renovation. Hi, uh, it's our designer, Kenneth. Hello. We're to find tiles. I can't believe it. Hey, welcome to our Hello. future home. Hello and good morning, Philippines! Hey! Everyone. Welcome to episode 2 of our house renovation project. Oh! So me and Ava are renovating our first home here in the Philippines. We're very excited about it. And in this series, we're covering everything that you need to know. We're kind of documenting this process that we go through. And hopefully some of you, if you're in the same position, can learn something from it. Oh, so if you still haven't watched episode 1, head, uh, head over to Ava's channel. To see that and we're making some progress on the house so we're gonna go straight up to Cavite where we're renovating it and show it to you yeah all right guys for our first stop we are picking up some tiles that we bought the other day this is a more specialty store it's called the mosaico hello sir morning, sir. Good morning. morning sir. very nice good morning we're back here this is the tile that we're picking up today. It's called the Morocco Turquisa. In Ave, we have actually been to Morocco, and I think that's what we fell in love with this tile. Our idea is to make our home a little bit mix of places we've been and to bring in that travel vibe we are kind of known for on this channel. So we have an accent wall in the bathroom. This is where we bought the tiles. Yeah. So we've been going from different home depots, different shops, hardware stores, to find the perfect one because we don't want to set up for just basic. This is our tiles. And whenever you buy tiles, you have to make sure that they are intact. Oh my god, beautiful. because we haven't been here for a couple of days, at least I haven't been. So I think the progress we're gonna to see today has been tremendous. Here it is! Yay! Hi. Three boxes! Hey, welcome to our Hello. future home! <laughs> wow! Beautiful! Okay guys, welcome to our future home. We are now currently inside. So for this project, we have chosen to rent constructors to do all the labor, but to buy everything ourselves. If you're renovating a home in the Philippines, this is the most cost-efficient way to do it. You're basically becoming your own foreman, and you have to make sure that everything is kind of good. That's your role in this. And since me and Ave, we wanted this project to be as good as possible, I think it made sense for us to do it that way. I think doing it this way, you can save about one-third or even one-fourth of the total cost. But of course, you have to be on it every day, constantly check in, buy everything, do all the research yourself. So if you're the type of person that likes that, that's the type of project for you. Very cool. Let me quickly walk you through what's been going on here. So I'm currently now upstairs and before there used to be a wall here and this was its own bedroom. But me and Ave, we chose to tear down that wall to make an upstairs living room slash sleeping room. We're thinking about putting a sleeping couch here. All these walls have been completely redone. So it looks beautiful now and we're also going to put down lights in the roofs here. It's gonna be a railing here and a TV room for some kids or yeah, friends that we have over. And in here, we are completely redoing everything. It's a total renovation of all the bathrooms and we're putting in now new tiles as you guys can see. And the tiles that we picked up today is gonna to be on this wall right here as an accent wall in the back. And this room will have a small shower and you know, a wash washroom. And this is master's bedroom right here. Finally put a double bed here, put in some air conditioning unit. And I really like this giant porch that we have right here. And um, yeah, it's a very nice neighborhood, very quiet, safe, it's gated. And in the back, we plan to do a very nice yard. What a dream. So this project was actually, had not been possible without the support of uh, our family during the wedding, but also Ava's family, uh, specifically Ava's grandmother, who is 
really supporting us in this project. So big thanks to her for that. And uh, yeah, I hope Lola you're watching, Lola Priscilla, that you're watching this video and that you get a sense of accomplishment also seeing this, the renovation process. So yeah, what's left now is the downstairs unit. We're going to completely redo the tiles going up here. And since this two-story house won't currently have a kitchen, we're rebuilding an entire kitchen out here. So this is going to be the kitchen area. And this is the downstairs big, big living room. What do you think of it? Yeah, it's so nice. It's coming along? Very fast. Right? They're really good. I these are the tiles that Ava bought yesterday. And then these tiles we picked up another day. We're gonna completely redo the entire tiles down here to have a concrete look. Yeah, it's coming along. And then this is a car parking area. And over here is also a second look on the... <laughs> Backside here, which I don't know we since we kind of really inspired by Mo Morocco Maybe we'll do like a Morocco theme backyard with a small dipping pool or yeah haven't really figured that whole part out yet So it's fun. Hope you guys enjoy that quick uh, view of the house We expect everything to be done in about one to two months from now Our goal is that by summer this house will be move-in ready and that it will be kind of like a weekend getaway for us um, We might also actually put this on Airbnb for those of you watching so stay tuned for that Come to Manila, I think it's a good place if you want to be a little bit outside of the city. It's about 30 minutes from uh, Naya Airport Terminal 3 and about 40 minutes to 45 minutes from BGC Central. Good location and very excited about this project. Okay, quick check-in. I'm lucky that I have a wife that can speak Tagalog. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so now we are going to a different Home Depot and it's quite far. Mm. I heard that you guys mentioned that there had been a damage on one tile. Yeah, um, because yesterday we did the accounting, I left the receipt right. in the house. So I'll just get it. So it works if we have the receipt and we bring yeah. it back, we'll get it refunded. Yeah. Or a new mm -hmm. tile. Okay, so that's good to know. Hey guys, on to the next place. Come along. We're gonna go to something called Wilkins now, which is like... Wilkins. Wilkins, depending on where you're watching from. It's like a Home no, Depot. No, no, CW pala. Basta Home Depot. CW. Basta okay. Home Depot. So if you're watching from Norway, it's like a Moxpo. If you're watching from the US, it's like a Home Depot. Yeah, come along to see what that looks like here in the Philippines. Oh, since we're on a tight budget, you gotta <laughs> save money where you can. You can afford yes. more tiles. I Beef oh. with veggies. Thank you, Ava. Oh, and then rice. And guys, we haven't introduced her yet, but Sarah. Hi. Sarah's here. Sarah's here. I'm here. Hey. Hello. Sarah's our assistant helping mm -hmm. us. Sige, ka na muna. Sarah knows when I'm hungry. Yeah. That I need to be fed right away. Or exactly. Else. Oh, I know it's that too. It's almost year of the dragon next year. Comment year below if your day. wife is like a ticking bomb if she's hungry. <laughs> That's Ava. And in Philippines, takeaway or when you cook it at home and bring it, it's called baon. Baon, yes, like a lunch ba box. Lunch box. Yeah. This way we save money and time. Because you know, when you go to restaurants, you need to order and you need to right. wait. Very smart. Know, many... Appreciate it. Yeah. Ayan, okay. Sige, come mm. on. So this is for you and me to share. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow, welcome to a dinner date with Marvin. Yeah, for lunch so date, you know what? Sweet naman natin, Marvin. looking for here tiles tiles and then some tiles for the kitchen sink bathroom sinks doors probably let's see the whole shebang beautiful place it's a big shift for me and Ava we're used to spending all our money on travel and I was scaling it back a little bit. But it's like when you see the price for a toilet, you're like, whoa, 20,000 pesos for a toilet? I can flood a shark out for that, you know? It's like, you have to rewire your brain. It's hard to find tiles. I can't believe it. And also, we've been to 
I think five different Home Depots still. They don't have the tiles that we want. I've been on the run for a little while now. I can catch my breath from chasing you. So tell me when you will know what it is you want. Cause I don't want to wait forever now. In Norway, when I grew up, having a sauna in your house was like, ooh, you're so shy, you're like, well off. This is an infrared sauna. So it's not the traditional Norwegian one where you throw water on the stove and it kind of like... This is also very nice. I will test it, just so you guys can see. I would love to have this one day. Ken, Ken done. <laughs> Gonna buy this? Yeah. But it's re this one is really expensive. I don't think you should get it. He's gonna buy. I'm gonna be the one who will buy it. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, I, I really have no say in this. We're gonna buy it. <laughs> the golden bee day. Mm. So when you poop, it's expensive. <laughs> yeah. Someone recognized Marve. In our relationship, sink is important because I'm the dishwasher. Hey guys, the girls are currently using the restroom here. We're making some solid progress here. Good job! Hello, hello, hello! Happy? So many things, um, yeah. Because Kenneth is not here, I am very confused about everything. <laughs> like, you know, the guy who said, Mom, standard or hard? I uh, know. It's like, what? So I have to call Kenneth again, yeah. you know, it's just like with the brand, um, they don't have a brand that Kenneth wanted. Yeah. So I had to ask him, double check him and stuff like that. So, um, but after this, tomorrow Kenneth will be with us. Yeah. Because he lives far. Kenneth lives Marikina, far. No, Antipolo, mm -mm. to Cavite. It's like an hour drive or something, maybe more. Yeah. But Kenneth is our designer and I don't think you can do this type of project without someone like him. So tomorrow, I'll introduce you to Kenneth, our designer for this vlog. He's the one that's been designing the entire space, making the 3D renders, helping us with color combination and all the stuff you need to know. Yeah! Uh, last purchase of the day. It's been a productive day. We have bought some tile adhesive. Stuff they need to be able to glue the tiles on the walls. If you made it this far to the vlog, please comment below if you have any questions in regards to home renovation here in the Philippines. We'll be happily to address them in the next video on this series. Anything at all, and uh, we will address it. Hey guys, welcome to a new day of house renovation. We just parked here at uh, Nomo Supermarket in Cavite. And today we are continuing the renovation process. Come along. All right, all home today. Okay guys, we are now inside all home. It's like another version of Ikea. It has anything from furniture, but also tiles and everything we need for our construction. This big brand new mall is only a three minute car drive from our house, which is very, very convenient. Go here to, to eat or to shop, and they also have an H&M, so I don't know. Maybe there will be more shops here coming in the next few months as well. Here she is, the wife. Hello. I believe in What are we looking for today? Um, we're looking for some doors. Doors? Yeah, for the bedroom and the bathrooms. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
and then I don't know what else. <laughs> we're doing a kind of different concept here in this Airbnb. We're doing sliding doors to save space, especially in the bathrooms here in the Philippines. Yeah. We tend to make them very small, like crowded. So when you have that door too, it's like you can't even you know, sit on the toilet without crushing the door. We thought of, hey, let's try to do a sliding door concept. And then you guys are gonna meet our designer very soon. My God. Looking at all this furniture is making me a little bit dizzy because it's so much options. It's hard to choose. We will need to buy an additional couch eventually. So here we found a couch where we can choose our own colors and it's delivered within three weeks. Hmm, interesting. Yeah! Alright, we are back at the house making final adjustments for the sliding barn doors that we're gonna install later this week. They painted now the roof in some areas and they're also completing the bathrooms. Ah, it's our designer, Kenneth. Mm -mm. So I Kenneth, know. you are so talented. <laughs> and he has a company called Flat 209. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll link it in the description of the video if you guys need designers, someone to help you with all your construction. Reach out, we'll get back to you. Well, how are we doing? What's the progress so far? Well, we have, like for the past weeks that we've been working here, we have a lot of progress already. So yeah. right now what we are doing in the site is clearing everything and then changing. Just building, basically building, so we yeah. don't have the furniture yet, but we are building the site in preparation for all the furnishings that we will be putting inside. So we changed the floors, yeah. um, we are updating the paint, so we're refreshing the paints, the walls, the ceiling, we added four lights inside, and then we are also doing an overhaul in the bathroom. Yes. Changing everything like, in the yeah, bathroom. Yeah, like massive. Everything. Massive overhaul. Yeah, yeah. Very cool. So, yeah. And we're currently standing in the future kitchen. Yes, and right now. Yeah. It's currently outdoor, so we don't have any roof here. Yeah, we don't. But this is the kitchen, so this will eventually be a post area and yeah. will be a proper kitchen. Yeah, we're so excited for this. There you go, guys. Our designer, Kenneth, he's been working with us for like, it's been ever since we kind of first presented how we have a house, what can we do? Kenneth, like, he made the drawings, he, he makes uh, ideas, contributions, and of you also offer, you know, your clients to come along almost like a foreman, right? You're so involved in the entire process. What do you call it? What's the terminology in your <laughs> hands on. Hands on. He's very hands on, which is But they are hands on as well, so very hands on. So it's fun. They're fun. everywhere with me right yeah. now. They're also running here and there. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so yeah. upstairs. You have your dating here. Uh, uh huh. Because you have the floor. Uh, you gotta yeah, change the right. floor again. Like that. Yeah. But like here, just to break the wall. Mm -hmm. So you can put something like that. Something like this. Throughout. Right. That could be cool. Maybe yeah. until here. Mm -hmm. Good idea. Yeah, I see, I, I see it. Parang uh, may accent. Oh, may contact art. We're also doing glass here, right? For the railing. We don't know no need for glass. Right now we have a railing but square. Tubular, but uh -huh. very um, simple uh -huh. railing. Uh -huh. And then you have opening here. But all the openings we can add glass. Yeah. In, I mean, I mean an option. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Yeah. Very cool. I so think for, it would be... For, I don't know, for if we need added security, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Like for kids, safety, for dogs, yeah. or whatever. So Either that or we'll do like maybe Another, yeah, but you want to make it simple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. don't want too many lines. So yeah, the yeah. last can be really an option. I think that too. would be yeah, nice. That's all I, think. I had a friend that he leaned, yeah. he yeah. thought it was glass, and it wasn't, and then he fell down. But without uh, a border rail, he thought there's no. So, it's like square square na glass, it's like a glass. And then, it's like a glass. At the end, uh, there's one part without yes, glass. Yes, one part without a glass, and then he <laughs> fell down. <laughs> For those who are watching, that was my best friend Kim that fell down. He's a little stupid sometimes, and uh, but he survived. Survived. Did a half backflip, landed on his feet. <laughs> no problem. Hey guys, checking out a sink that we bought. Very nice. <laughs> Yeah. Hi guys. Bye. Thank you.
Thank you. Again. Sorry See ko. You. Ko. Okay lang, no? Rest, rest. We made some good progress today, guys. But, you know, I'm gonna end the vlog right here. Thanks for watching episode two. <laughs> and stay tuned because there's a lot more to do here on this house. So we'll update you in the next episode and comment below if you have any questions. Bye-bye.